the yes. whoosh and then the whoosh. whoosh whoosh yes and then boom that's why resonance is actually happening here 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 and oh. then, uh, yeah yeah and there you go you just conquered your exam question yeah easy yeah. peasy lemon squeezy yep. mm -hmm. jk we saw the sigma network <laughs> yeah oh yeah Good about yeah that. all right <laughs> <laughs> all right so um Hello. <laughs> Jason, say hi. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> there we go. Now you're in part 1B, guys. If you haven't watched part 1A of our Orgo Made Easy podcast, go ahead and check it out wherever the bubble is going to be or in the link down below. Yeah. When in doubt, description down below has a link. <laughs> All right. <laughs> awesome. So 1B, this time we're going to do harder problems. This time we're going to do determining hybridization when there is secret resonance occurring in your molecule. Mm. Okay and also complicated pi systems. And there's also gonna be cyclic pi systems in part 1C, so stay tuned. Stay tuned, Jason. Oh, I am. <laughs> there we go. Let's go. All right, guys, Let's so go. first off, we are gonna do, Jason, what's the molecule? Pop quiz. <laughs> I knew you were gonna spring this on me. So it's gonna be diazomethane. Yes, diazomethane. So what the heck is the structure of diazomethane? So diazomethane, as when Frank is going to drop this in there, is going to have a CH2, and that's going to be attached to a nitrogen. And guess what? That nitrogen, that's a single bond between the C and the N, but there's going to be another nitrogen. So it's C, single bond to N, triple bond to another N. It's a super cool structure. There you go. That's diazomethane. So when you guys hear of azo, just think nitrogen. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. For some reason, chemists like to call nitrogen azo. Or aze. For whatever reason. Thing. Yeah. Aze. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, Jason, just like in video 1A, What's the hybridization of this nitrogen? Ooh, so I remember. So we've got your formula. Yeah. So that nitrogen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's my formula then, Jason? I think it was sp3 minus the number of pi bonds. Max. Oh, okay. Well, it, I mean, it's, it's, technicalities, yeah. technicalities, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this nitrogen, what's the max number of pi bonds that this can make? Two. Two, exactly, right here. These two, right? Yes. Yeah, awesome. The one on cool. the top nice and the one on the bottom, yep. Yeah, exactly. Easy peasy. And yeah, it really doesn't matter, guys. You could choose the top mm -hmm. two, the bottom two, the top one, and the bottom one. Just like yeah. two of those three bonds are going to be pi bonds, essentially. If you don't know what we're talking about, you got to check out 1A, like now. Yeah, if bonds. you haven't already, where have you been? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. This is SP3. And Jason said there's two uh, max, two pi bonds. Yes. And so it'll be SP then. Okay, there. What about this nitrogen over here, Jason? What is that? Okay, so we're gonna do sp3 minus the max number of pi bonds. It looks like there's still, I think it's, I think there's still two. Still two? Yeah, it's just, yeah. What about this one? Isn't that a pi? Ooh. I don't think it is, is it? It's just That's a sigma, a sigma yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I know you're trying to exactly. trick me. How, 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 how do you nervous. tell? <laughs> Good. Yeah, but there's only one bond, it's, it's gonna be a sigma bond. That's, oh, that's the trick. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Yeah, so there we go. So that's sp, that's sp. All right, so next, guys. You just saw ethyne in our previous video at the end. Uh, diazomethane is a nitrogen nitrogen triple bond, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, the only difference is that you, you don't have a hydrogen on the right side anymore. You have a lone pair. And instead of a hydrogen on the left side, you have a whole CH2. So, pretty much the same thing. And I guess you yeah. don't have carbons either. So, pretty much the same thing. I mean, it's the same, just different letters <laughs> of the alphabet, right? Yeah, exactly. So, here we go. I'm going to draw for you what the molecular orbitals look like. And a lot of times on exams, especially the first exam, profs want you to draw this, okay? So here we go. It's got two pi bonds. So Jason and I always default to using our PYs first, like we did in the first video. <laughs> so these are our PY, PY, right here, right here. All right. And then remember I said earlier, we're gonna use purple for electrons because blue is gonna be our PZ orbital and it's gonna be confusing. <laughs> so whoosh, whoosh, just like in the first video, whoosh, except whoosh. with nitrogens. Yeah, that first pi bond is gonna be, I'm gonna say it's that top one. This time, I'll have you do the PZ orbitals with blue. Oh yeah. Oh, I definitely can do that. Cool. Sake. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller on the backside, even though they're the same size, just to kind of give some depth. How's that? Yeah. That looks good. And then- uh, and Frank, do I need to fill them in? Uh, yeah, good question. So I'm gonna flip it back at you, because that was my question for you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It's like Uno reverse, right? Okay, cool. So the reason why we don't fill them in is because you can, and rather than getting all the details of it's a minus and a plus and all these things, sometimes you're going to see them filled in, half of it, some not. But what we're doing instead is a lot of times you're going to see the electrons in there. 
So that's gonna be kind of the distinction from one side versus the other. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna go back to that Orgo made easy little uh, carbon with its four arms set up, how the hybridization works. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is toss an A this, a this, and a this. And what are those, Jason? Those are orbitals. Yeah. Sorry, but they S. are not hybridized. 2P. 2P, exactly. 2P. And then just like 1A. Yeah, exactly. Jason and yeah. I buh, 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 buh. don't even bother with the two because you don't really yeah. need it, the two. No brainer. All right. No. S and three Ps. And Jason, P what? P what? P what? P what? P what? P what? Yeah. X, Y, Z. Perfect. I heard it. Oh. All right. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there you go. We have two pi bonds here. The blue PZ is uh, that bond. <laughs> Like we just set up earlier here, this thiazomethane, the nitrogens, um, they are sacrificing a PY orbital to set up that first pi bond. So that is used up, sacrificed. And then another PZ orbital is sacrificed. So then all that's left is what, Jason? SP, or S and a P. <laughs> we haven't hybrid. That's yet. the answer I was looking for. Yeah, exactly, that's the answer I was looking for. <laughs> so how many orbitals are going in? And how many orbitals are popping out? Yeah, we got two going yes. in, we got two coming out. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so like Jason said earlier, but I cut him off. SP, SP. You're going to get two SP orbital, orbitals get pumped out of there. Okay. All righty. So um, let's see. A little quick recap of root. I'm going to fly right through this. Uh, perfect circle again, just like in video one. Not an apple, Jason. Mm. Right. Not an apple. I know that. Not an apple. So S orbital circular. Is that, a, is that your... an apple? <laughs> circle. It's a perfect circle. Okay, got it. Got it. Uh-huh. And then these, uh, I, I ran out of space, so I'm gonna just pop them down here. PX looks like this, PY looks like this. You guys already know this, so I'm gonna zip right through this. Da, 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 da. Nice. All right, so then your SP orbitals is gonna be a hybrid of that. Now it's just AS orbital and a PX orbital hybridizing. So this time, uh, it, honestly, it'll look pretty similar to an SP3 orbital as well. It'll have more or S characteristic this time around since it's, you know, just 1s and 1p, as opposed to like 1s orbital and 3p orbitals hybridizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. Yeah. So I'm going to just draw like this. And like, you know, textbooks show it differently sometimes. It's all up to your book and your prof. So ultimately, do what your prof does. But that's how I visualize it. Yeah, no, that's Mostly good. Mostly s, a little bit of p characteristic to it. So why did I show you guys that? Well, over here, we have the pi system or the pi network, OK? This is the pi system that we were drawing earlier. I'm gonna show you guys what's happening in, what's this network, Jason, with the SP orbitals. That's gonna be the, uh, which one? They're gonna be part of the Sigma system. You got it, or the Sigma. Sigma, network. yes, okay, yep, got it, okay. Yeah, all righty. For the Sigma system, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing as we did before. I'm gonna drop the ends down, right here and right here. And then Jason, what else do I need to draw for the Sigma, Sigma network now? We need some orbitals. You're talking about yes, also for the absolutely. C? Yeah, you wanna to toss them in? Yeah, let's oh, do wait, it. Oh, no, 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 uh, we're gonna leave out the C for now, guys, just cause the C is kind of, uh, it's a little shady. I'll, I'll tell you Got what's it. actually happening there later on, but let's focus on the end first. Got it. Jason. <laughs> All right, how's that? <laughs> Those are okay. <laughs> <laughs> they need to be bigger? They're, they're, no kind, bueno. they're kind of, yeah. They're too I'll, small? I'll, let, me, let, let me do the undo. I'll, I'll draw it. <laughs> okay, let me see. They're, they're just, they're not, they're not perfect. They need to be perfect. They have to All be right, like my see. perfect circle. Okay. okay. Like, it's like that perfect circle. Okay. All right. So okay. Um, they need to be, well, <laughs> what I was going for was that they need to look like this. <laughs> Got it. Okay. That's just true. Oh, they're close. Yeah. 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 A bit. A bit. I'm, I'm just kidding. But they're, they're mostly fine. They're, they're like acceptable. Um, <clears throat> also, just in the, huh? What? Isn't that the same size as mine? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, in the spirit of leaving orbitals Ooh, not good. shaded in, like our PYs and Zs, I'm going to not shade in these so we can see mm. the electrons. All right. There we go. Uh, I'm going to do this. Completely different than what Jason had earlier. Uh, <laughs> each nitrogen has four arms. And this whole process over there is happening with each individual nitrogen. So each nitrogen are going to have two sp orbitals, hence this one and this one. And then this one has this one and this one. And just like in video 1A, we're not drawing the tails because there's no room to draw it. All 
All right, Jason, right, I'm gonna so you can go ahead and, uh, yeah, use purple and kind of bubble in the electrons. Yeah, there you go. So you got one electron there, one electron there. Yep, and that's our sigma bond. I'm going to point to that yeah. bond right there. Sweet. Okay, what about these lone pairs? Where are they at? I'm going to say, okay, I think that's in a hybridized orbital. Yeah, an, an sp orbital? Yes, yeah. definitely sp, yeah. yes. Okay, cool. Go ahead and bubble it in. Yes, I definitely will. Okay, awesome. Squeak goes in there. Can yeah. you see those? Nice. Yeah, I could see them. Yeah. Bam. No, there you go. Nice. And then what about, uh, I guess it has a bond going to the left. So is there mm -hmm. anything in this orbital, this sp orbital? Yeah, I'm thinking that it's a bonded to carbon. Yeah, so there's probably how many electrons in this sp orbital? I'm going to say one. One. Yeah, one, one's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nitrogen <laughs> provides one. That carbon provides one. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Yes, there you go. Also, guys, you've probably seen this in class in your notes. Um, a lot, a lot. I mean, usually when they teach this, they'll put in like an up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, up oh, arrow. Oh yeah. Um, that That's is the cool. more correct way to do this. Um, Jason, and I don't really use that. Honestly, you don't really need it. Um, no. So we're gonna leave it out. But in case you're wondering, you are supposed to put electrons in. But yeah, Orgo made easy way doesn't have that. Okay, right. moving on. <laughs> moving on. Um, also, just like ethyne, your nitrogen is sp hybridized. So it's only got two sp orbitals to kind of like mm, bond with, two, two different atoms it can bond with. So the bond angle is going to be 180, just like ethyne. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what is the hybridization of this carbon atom over here? Easy. I mean, if I just look at it, I already know that's sp3. Yeah, that's exactly. Easy. It's got four things, right? Yeah. It's got like an H, a H, and then a lone pair. And a lone yeah. pair, you count it. SP. Yep, so it's sp3, bam, and it's sp2 in reality. What? <laughs> you said sp2, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. So you know why it's sp2, actually? It's because I think you might have forgotten Oh, actually, well, you totally use my equation. I, I know because I saw you did hybridization yeah, equals you, sp3 minus, exactly. right? Yes, yeah, yes, and there's no yes. pi bonds. There's no pi bonds yeah. that this carbon has, yeah. like, has right now. Yeah, That's but you I forgot it. about the same thing you forgot in the beginning of the video, the keyword max. Max number. Oh, that's why I left. See, I left it out and I forgot it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Just as planned. So, yeah, this is this, guys, this is the secret resonance, secret of pi bond business that we were telling you guys about in part 1A. Now, the thing is, is if you guys want to check this out, we already have five OME resonance made easy videos. You need to go check those out. How's that, Frank? That's good. I, I'm just slow, so I haven't even gotten, gotten to the, <laughs> the, the, the thing drop yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jason said we got five videos already um, linked below. In the description. Also, Michelle Asaf, one of uh, one of our former Orgo Made Easy tutors, who is currently in New York City. As uh, I believe, she's a middle school teacher. I hope she's a middle school teacher, not a. Sweet. Yeah, uh, she's a middle school teacher, and <laughs> <laughs> she is. What I was trying to say is, she has an awesome resonance crash course packet that she released during 2020, uh, and it's it's really awesome. You guys just need to take oh, a yeah. super quick glance at it, and then the rest of this video, you'll be able to follow along if you don't have time to watch all five resonance videos. Um, which you should watch. Definitely check point. it out. Yeah. So resonance, Jason. Uh, do you, I'll let you talk about it. What kind of res? What's the secret resonance that this guy can do? Yeah. So this is super cool because we have this triple bond, but we can use we can resonate with the triple bond. So we've got that lone pair on the carbon, and so we can use mm -hmm. those electrons to kind of push them in and interact with the pi system. Because since it's next door, we've got this line of communication. Cool. Um, so where would you draw your arrow starting from, and where would you mm. point it to, and all right, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my arrow at the lone pair, and I am going to skadoosh that. And when I drop my arrow, I'm going to drop it in between that bond because I want to make a new bond where that sigma bond is. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not done because if I did that, the nitrogen is going to explode, literally explode. So way too many bonds, no bueno. So yeah. then we have to go skadoosh over one like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Professor Rubio from B used to call them like a, a Texas atom or something. Oh, it's, yeah. It's yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, yeah, everything's bigger over there. Everything's bigger. Uh, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, like in my resonance videos, like in Michelle Ossoff's uh, resonance crash course packet, 
a negative charge is essentially a tsunami way way too much oh, extra yeah. electrons when it comes in it's going to push everything along nothing's you yeah. uh, know something's taking a bond typically it's gonna lose a bond as well okay. yeah Pur purple tsunami yes all right so yeah thanks jason that's perfect now no problem frank jason can you draw the resulting resonance structure and then i'm also going to ask you simultaneously what's mm. happening with the charges so okay so right. um yeah what's it going to look like jason i think so I'm just, I'm winging this as I go along. So I'm going to say this, and these hydrogens, these are still going to be on there. So I'm going to put these H's here. Yeah. And then I'm going to say that this lone pair right there is still going to be there because I didn't go. But this lone pair is now that bond right there. This should still be positive right here because we still have four bonds in nitrogen because it hasn't gained or lost electrons. True, Boom. true. Oil rig. Because it lost, it the lost some here, through. but it also gained some, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. And what about this, this dude on the right then, that nitrogen? Yeah. So this dude over here definitely has some extra electrons now. So I'm thinking that we still have to maintain in resonance. We still have to kind of maintain the overall charges. So this is mm -hmm. going to be a minus. Yeah. And it was neutral and it gained electrons, yeah. which are negative. So it's negative now. Oh, what about this yeah. negative carbon then, Jason? Yeah. So I think if we look at that, yeah. that one has five, the top one has five electrons for, like, around it. So it's one extra. So when it resonates, it loses one. So therefore now it goes back to four, which is zero. Oh, uh, so it doesn't become positive even though it's losing electrons? No, that's a good point. Because yeah, we had an extra actually, one, so uh, it does lose an electron. So it is technically an oxidation, which goes from a yeah. negative to a neutral. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, guys, so <laughs> it, it, it's negative. So it's like, if you think about it like a number line, it's like negative one, zero, and then positive mm -hmm. one. So if you are losing electrons, you go from negative to neutral before you get to positive. So, yeah. So that's why this carbon over here is neutral. Okay, great. So that's bullet point number nine and eight. We're all set there. Um, Jason, we're going to go yes. back uh, to my original question once again. Hybridization of this carbon, what is it? So it's going to be sp3 minus, I'm looking up here, max number yeah. of pi bonds and atom Yeah. Drop. Boom. Yeah. So that's going to be sp2. Yeah, as you can see, it actually can make one pi bond. So in reality, sp2 hybridized. Okay. Awesome. All right, cool. Yes. So Frank, I have a question. Is the nitrogen yes. now that has the minus, yes. is that sp2 hybridized because it has a double bond? Oh, great question, Jason. Great question. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the answer, Jason? I don't know. I was asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to deflect it back to you. <laughs> no, the, the thing that I'm I've always kidding. done. Yeah. Yeah. I've always done is I always default to whatever you yeah. can resonate to. That's the one that I usually, that usually yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Jason, you forgot the keyword again. It's max. Yeah, I know. <laughs> do you know? I was, I, I was seeing if you were going to correct me. <laughs> max number because you can do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, guys, if you have, if, if, if a molecule has multiple resonance structures, you need to check both and always choose yeah. the max number. Yeah. Cause that's the real hybridization. Yeah, Max, that is important. What I missed, mm -hmm. what I left out the yeah. first time. Yeah, I didn't realize. You, I didn't realize you were trying to get me to get you to do the thing. I, I was. You see, see, yeah. I knew what you were thinking, yeah. but I was thinking what you. Yeah, yeah you got it. <laughs> all right. Okay, so like Jason said, this one is also S. It's still correction. It's still sp hybridized, mm -hmm. despite only having two, only having one pi bond in that resin structure. Yeah. Just keep in mind, in reality, it's. It's, it follows like this resonance structure in terms of its hybridization. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so backtrack to here. Let's do the pi system for our carbon now that we know what's happening. Okay. Okay. So like we said earlier, um, we, Jason and I love defaulting to PY first because it's easiest yeah. to draw. So Absolutely. this carbon, since it's SP2 hybridized and it has a pi bond, as we can see over here, it has to be using or sacrificing one of its P why oops i have to draw in there sorry guys but i have to cover that up um it has to be using its py orbital and for this uh resonance form the structure those lone pairs are what's sitting inside this py orbital and it has to be like that because if they're going to resonate well you have to be in the pi system first of all you can't be resonating through a sigma network it's just not how things work mm -hmm. uh, you can ask your chemistry professor <laughs> for the explanation for that but <laughs> It has to be in the in the in the py orbital if it's gonna you know uh, resonate with this network here. So you can kind of think honestly think of it like a train track system. You have to be mm -hmm. on the right track yep. in the right position 
for it to flow. Okay. So yeah. these lone pairs are in the PY network, once again. Um, they can be in the PZ network, honestly. That's fine too. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Y is just easier to draw. So we're going to go Absolutely. with that. Absolutely. And Jason, so then I'm going to do, you ready? Ready for the sound effect? The yes. whoosh. And then the whoosh. 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 Yes. And then boom. That's why resonance is actually happening here, here, here. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. And there you go. You just conquered your exam question. Yeah. Easy yeah. peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. JK, we saw the Sigma network. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. That. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to drag that carbon back down here. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, what else am I going to do, Jason? Because it's carbon and it's a sigma network. So what do I got to do? Uh, so what we're going to need an sp2 hybridized orbital, right? Do we need to do this thing again? The orbital made easy thing? Do we? <laughs> no, we don't have to. We don't have to. <laughs> I don't think we have to do it either. No. So um, this carbon, we already said it, it's sp2 hybridized. It's using mm -hmm. up one of its py orbitals to resonate and be part of this pi system. So we x that off. Mm -hmm. We don't x off the pz because nope. it only has one pi bond at, at its max capacity or mm -hmm. resin structure. So we have 1s and px and pz. So yep. three orbitals are going in. And so three orbitals are going to get pumped out instead. So ignore this blue thingy. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you, you get they'll what get, they'll get it. We saw yeah, it before. Yeah, they get yeah, it. They, they get it. it. Yeah, they, they get, get it. it. You get so, get so it. So basically, so three sp2 orbitals are being pumped mm -hmm. out. And they'll probably yeah. have more p characteristic right jason since there's mm -hmm. two p orbitals oh absolutely because there's two p yeah yeah um it's kind of hard to show it honestly when you draw it so i'm going to just draw it like you know jason here, here's a redemption you can, you can draw the sp2 orbitals in the sigma nice. network this time yes okay. yes 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 go for it. all right cool so we're going to go there's one of them how's that yeah that's fine <laughs> it's good okay and then yeah, we're going to have another we're going to have another one up here and we're going to have another okay. one down there yeah <laughs> you want me to redraw oh, that one? Oh, oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's almost perfect. Yeah. Almost. almost. I can't say it's perfect. perfect. Yeah, and also, guys, we, we didn't really talk about this too much in the first video, 1A, but um, an sp2 hybridized atom is going to be trigonal planar with 120 degree bond angles between the three orbitals. All righty. Well, the reason is because it's only got three arms now to spread out, you know? So, the best way to spread out three things is like in a 2D world, if you put like one up here, one down there, one down here, you don't really need like front and back to maximize spacing out like a SP3 carbon or atom that has a tetrahedral shape because it has four arms. Like yeah. this. So anyways, yeah, exactly. When you have four arms, you have to use the 3D space. When you have three arms, it's easiest to just use a flat space. Just divide a circle by three. 120, 120, 120. Okay, there. Yeah, so guys, uh, we're onto this page because we wanted to show you um, how it looks on ChemDraw. Nice. Yeah, there you go. So we, we, we thought red was kind of like, because we, we were setting these problems and like a lot of them yes. had like seven orbitals, 18 orbitals, <laughs> and they were all red and we didn't want to stress you guys out. So we were like, let's change it to like purple and orange, you know, more calmer colors. Nice and calm. Except it, it backfired because on live board, we can't, we don't have purple. Well, actually, we have purple. We don't have orange. So, we don't have orange. But everything's yeah. out of whack now because these are our P, see, I'm already confused, our PY orbitals from earlier. Yes. Yeah. So, we hope you're calm, at least, from the temporary yeah. color. And then I these are calmer. your PZ orbitals, which I'll use blue mm -hmm. to help, help you reorient yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, Jason, do um, you want to talk about this a little bit? Like, like, um, also, like this, what's going on? Why is it dashy, wedgy? Yeah, that's great. So, as you all probably know, like the p orbitals, we can't have like two pi orbitals in the same orientation like this. So, one of them we have to tip like that. So, they have to be orthogonal or 90 degrees. But as we go through here, we can't put all these bonds in the same plane. So, what's happening is it's kind of like we have to put the pi bond this way, another pi bond this way. And then what we've got is with the sp2, like Frank said, so if I take my two fingers like this, what we're basically doing is taking the molecule and turning it like that. So what we're trying to represent mm -hmm. is that one of the H's is going to be going back toward through the computer screen. One of them is going to be coming towards us. And that's going mm -hmm. to keep all the SP2 hybridization angles correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And they can, I feel like they can even better see the trigonal planarness. Yes, planarness absolutely. Of, of this. If you look at just yep. the three sigma bonds. Yeah, it's kind mm -hmm. of like that. It's easier to yeah. see that way, yeah. Yeah, and like from the top view, if you're looking down, like let's say your eyeball's up here. Oh, it's like practice for new in projections. Mm -hmm. You're going to see Ooh. like that H go in there, this H going here, and then this is bonding to your nitrogen like that. 
Okay, so this is like, this would be your dash hydrogen, and this would be the wedge hydrogen, just so for context, but yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. So that's awesome. Um, that's why Jason is kind of showing this flattened view of the resin structure. And yeah, uh, let me just film the electrons one more time, and I think we can call it for diazomethane then. All right? Okay. Okay. 30 seconds, Jason. 30 seconds. Okay. So it's got a lone pair here in its sp orbital. It's got one electron here for that pi bond. Mm -hmm. um, it's got another electron. Ooh, this carbon has, let's see, a lone pair, right? So it would have a lone mm -hmm. pair for this top resin structure yeah. here. There'd be an electron here and an electron here. And this, mm -hmm. so essentially this setup I have here is for this resin structure. Um, resin structure here, what it would look like, you guys can hit pause and try it out. Your N still has that lone pair there. It has another set of lone pairs Jason drew down there. So I'll sneak them down here. That's fine too. And then yeah. what else is happening, Jason? You still have that, right? If that yes. for PZ, the, the PZ orbital is unaffected. It's orthogonal, mm -hmm. like Jason said, which is means it's like, I don't know, shielded, unaffected by other yeah. things happening yeah. in the orthogonal yeah. direction. Some yeah. physics stuff. That's yeah. right. Also, not trying to confuse guys, these electrons can be up here. It's the same exact thing. I just drew these guys down here because the lone pairs were there, but they can totally be up there. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. This is where the electrons would be in the resonance structure. Okay. But as you can see, this one is still sp2 hybridized. Sacrifice the p orbital. sp2 hybridized. No matter which resonance structure, it's still sp2 hybridized. And that's our secret pi bond, secret resonance, all that secret. business. All right, guys. So that's the ending for 1b. 1b was supposed to be a longer video. Oh, uh, actually, no, it was not supposed to be a longer video. It was too long. So we broke it up into 1b and 1c. So be sure to check out 1C next. Um, it's gonna say 1B in the video, but just know it's a C. Make a mental note. You'll see it. Yeah. Yeah. And what do we, what do we have in 1B, Jason? I'm oh, sorry, C. 1C. Yeah. yeah. 1C. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is this? Is that Aline? I think that's Aline. This is Aline. Aline. And then, nice. We also have Azai. 1D. Which, no, 1C as well. It's also 1C. C as well. <laughs> yeah. As you can, guys can see, it's basically the same exact molecule, but uh, one's got hydrogens and one's got lone pairs. It's purple. Maybe it's because it's a uh, different atom. Mm -hmm. But you guys will find out in part 1C, so make sure you go check that out. BT yes. Dub, the ever elusive uh, thingy is in 1D. What is it, Jason? <laughs> Cyclical pi system. This one's not, but this one is. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, exactly, 1D, so make sure you check that one out after 1C. Also, guys, please consider help becoming a patron of ours on Patreon.com. We have a please. tutoring lottery. You can, you can win a 30-minute session with me and Jason, tag team just like this. We will actually do tutoring. We won't just goof off the whole time. So cool. Yeah, um, you'll learn something. You will. You will, exactly. Yeah, we have a tutoring lottery. You, we have uh, t-shirts. You can buy us a caramel latte or a... a <laughs> Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, my go-to drink. Medium, jasmine, milk tea, less ice, less boba, half sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you drink boba, Jason? I do not. I drink soda. No. Soda. Oh. <laughs> not <laughs> healthy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Jason is obsessed with soda, so you can get him, like, a 12-pack of... We're not sponsored, so I won't show the brand. On oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can... <laughs> Sorry. We, we, we got something. Fountain Mew. Sorry, not Mountain Mew. Fountain Mew. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's right. Fountain Mew might sound similar to something. Yeah. <laughs> or Boke. Boke is another one that might be. Boke. Might be yeah, better. Jason loves drinking Boke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boke with the C. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So we'd love to. We love for you guys to join us on Patreon. Uh, we're gonna try to build a really fun community on there. We have behind the scenes stuff, and all that good stuff. So be sure to check that out. T-shirts, awesome mugs. <laughs> All right. Anyways, oh, also, if you like Jason's, if you like Jason's uh, teaching style, he's got a something called a Kajabi course. It just happens to be a whole lot of resources for organic chemistry one on Kajabi. So you should definitely check that out somewhere mm -hmm. around here, maybe down there. If you like my teaching style, I mean, if you don't, you know, it's okay. I won't take offense, but if you do, it's down here. Mm -hmm. All right. See you guys in part one C. Bye.